subscriber request. Hey. Hey. Can you make a list of useful videos on your channel so I don't have to go watch every single one? You bet. I recently went through all 400 plus videos on my channel and wow, there was some wacky stuff. I retitled them all so they now make sense. Duh. You may not make it through this entire video, but that's cool. If you do, I'll give you a bunch of hearts at the end. But at least I have a video list and I've taken 189 of these that make sense and are useful to filmmakers and video creators and put them into a list in the description below and over on my blog. So here's 189 videos that you can refer to if you need help. Ready? Go. How to handle glare and reflections in glasses. Firmware explained and why you should update it. A tripod quick tip for balancing your tripod. The Rode NT-USB Mini Review, Titles and Lower Thirds Tutorial, Zoom Cuts Tutorial, ISO Aperture Shutter Speed Explained, ND Filters Explained, the Deity HD TX Wireless Audio Recorder, the Andy Sin and Feel World 4K Touchscreen Monitors, a Rode VideoMic NTG Review, the Wireless HDMI Mars 300 Review, a large 180 watt light panel, and I show you a $2,000 battery, the Movo Microphone Blimp, nice and low cost, three screen capture and tutorial tips, the Rode NTG5 Shotgun Microphone Review, my best and favorite chair for video editing, the Saramonic Blink 500 Wireless Review, and why I would use it, a full studio walkthrough, an instant reframing tip in Premiere Pro, a review of the Deity S-Mic 2S short shotgun mic, hyperlapse explained with a demo, how to practice shooting videos, how to practice framing, my own little statement on Mac versus PC, a falconized pocket light, managing multiple SD and CF cards, the Feutech AK4500 stabilizer review, a description of what nesting is, how to make mass title changes in Premiere Pro, how to use multiple timelines in Premiere Pro, four tips to learn video and filmmaking, the DJI Action Camera. The DJI Action Camera thing was basically like an entire manual in a video. Lighting a green screen using green bank lights, color correcting and matching shots, a Sure SMB podcasting and live stream mic review, TubeBuddy and vidIQ, those are YouTube tools, the Sound Devices Mix Pre 3 Audio Recorder Review. I love my Mix Pre 3, in fact, I have two of them. Quick release plates and why you need them. A fast 16 terabyte drive review. How SD and CF cards go bad. iFootage Monopod Review. If you watch this video, you'll get how much I love this monopod. An explanation of video resolutions, some vocal booths I saw at an NAB trade show, a tutorial for making things disappear in your videos, how to do a rack focus, creating motion blur in Premiere Pro, how to create a fast moving YouTube trailer, automated motion control and time lapse tutorial, the code of a filmmaker. I love the code of a filmmaker. It was originally posted on Indie Mogul way back and I reissued it. It just is like sensible stuff that people should follow so they're not those people. Battery grips explained, making super fast rough cuts, how to choose a quality tripod, 221 ways to make money as a video creator, the Movi phone cinema robot, how to switch your iPad and iPhone to lossless audio recording, more on three point lighting, setting up lights and white balance, cheap, sturdy, 10 foot tall light stands, Nine shotgun mics compared. Just shoot the bleeping thing. Yeah, that was just a message like, quit mucking around, just go shoot something. That's what that was all about. 13 more voiceover tips. DSLRs versus camcorders. How to stop being a slow filmmaker. Removing noise from audio. The Deity V-Mic D3 Pro review. Why I use Premiere Pro and you don't have to how to set up, shoot, edit, and render a video, how to track things in any video editor, smooth scrolling screen capture shots, how to blow yourself away. One commenter said I should title this video, how to blow yourself. No. How to view every comment made on YouTube. So look, I've gotten a ton of comments on this commenting video. 
YouTube went through from that time and changed it and you got a new creator studio and they're mucking around with this and I keep getting thousands of comments on this as if I'm YouTube and why it isn't working anymore. Talk to YouTube, they broke it. I didn't break it. How to record iPad and iPhone screens? Create something, ignore the 20%, Falcon Eye Spotlight Review, Experience Life, a message for creators. And it was amazing. People crawled all of the woodwork and downvoted this thing. It's amazing when you create something that's really nice, how many of the uglies come out and they're like, ah, you're being nice and showing beautiful things, stop it. You can imagine what I'm doing to those people right now. Making videos, the basic of all basics, the DDS mic versus the Rode NTG3, tips to make videos look better, how to train your eyes to shoot better video, why DSLRs have recording limits, lenses, field of view, focus length, sensors, and lens size, a message to advertisers for YouTube creators. When I was going through all my videos, that's the one I found and I posted it to Twitter and Facebook as, hey, look at this video I made years ago. I find it absolutely hilarious. So that's what got me on this roll of looking at all my other videos. How to check your lighting, Glide Gear Video Backdrop and Green Screen, Top 3 Shortcuts for Premiere Pro, The AccuSonus Audio Plugins Review, An Artlist Music Review, How to Make Massive Title Changes in Premiere Pro, 25 Voiceover Tips with Examples. That's a really popular one, I had no idea. I've done audiobooks and narrations, and so I decided over at Basic Filmmaker University, I'm gonna create a low-cost course this year to go through the methods of doing voiceovers and doing narration and how do you get audiobooks published on Amazon. Microphone basics, how to punch time in the face, personal voiceover training session, the basics of video masking, how to drive YouTubers nuts. That's another funny video. Every once in a while, I'll just pop up one of these weird videos. And this one was basically companies and people asking you to do things and commenters and those ugly people on YouTube. I just went through 13 things on what makes video creators go nuts when you do them. They actually don't make me go nuts, they make me laugh. Simple DIY lighting tips, DIY motion graphics, creating text over video, a large overhead LED light. I actually use that now, it's planted above my B-roll table and is beautiful. The Feel World 4K Monitor Review, How to Automatically Remix and Duck Audio, Four Methods of Color Correction, Basics of Lighting, What You Need to Know, The Aperture Light Storm COB300 Review, Film and Video Feedback, Listen, Ignore, Eight On-Camera Personas Tested Just for Fun, Using Premiere Pro Markers, Pro Battery Options, Premiere Pro Time Remapping, Mount your lights on a wall. What is an NLE explained? I love basics and people just blow by this word NLE. It stands for nonlinear editor and everybody uses it in all their courses. And it was really popular video because a lot of people are like, well, I'm not gonna ask what an NLE is because then I'm gonna look dumb. Please ask the simple questions. I love answering those. A camera R motion slider. A 50 millimeter lens versus an 85 millimeter lens. A $125 lens versus a $350 lens. The Canova Sunjib 700 review. How to DIY a white background. Multiple titles trick in Premiere Pro. Setting levels on your audio recorder. 10 video bleep ups to avoid. That's what that means, bleep ups. Like if you put some like sort of word in there that means something else that starts with an F, that's on you, man, not on me. How to add music to your videos. What is a timeline explained. 25 tips for gear, ads, reviews, and viewers. A Roadlink wireless review. Green screen backdrop fasteners. How to do silhouette lighting with a green screen. Interview with a TV host with tips and tricks. I really liked that one. This is a guy named Craig Burnett, and he was kind enough to do this little interview back and forth with me. I mean, he's a seasoned dude. He does TVs and all these late night stuff. And he was really nice. He went through and gave some tips and tricks on like how to be on camera and stuff. 
That was actually the impetus that started my on-camera course over at the university. Dialogue tips directing inexperienced actors and talents, the basics of using teleprompters, how to get sharp focus, flippy cards. This is an easy video editing technique, the top one filmmaker mistake, teaching, learning, filmmaking, and video drills, six video editing tips, tricks, and drills, the basics of sound and audio, slider basics for filmmaking, wireless power outlets reviewed in 30 seconds, a bench table review and build, the basics of green screen. We're back to like five or more years ago. The basics of green screen is ultra popular. It has like half a million or a million views now. Everything covered in that video, it still holds up today for doing green screen work. DIY bank lighting, video editing, J and L cuts, plate shots with demo examples, what is a keyframe with examples, render settings for YouTube, camera settings and quick color correction, Vincent LaFerre directing motion promo, getting night shots without noise, how to sweeten your voice in Adobe Audition, how to handle changing lighting conditions, three-point lighting and background tips and tricks, CF SD card formatting trick in 43 seconds, how to film lights that flicker, assets usage tip in Premiere Pro, stabilizers part one, part two, part three, part four, and part five, Steven helping out a new filmmaker. That was also such a fun video to do. I went to, I think it was Atlanta, Georgia at the time, and there was this young filmmaker. He's probably all grown up. This was five years ago, six years ago. I went out and helped him make a little episode and film something and gave him a bunch of tips and tricks and stuff. He was thrilled, and actually I was thrilled to help him out. Robo Filmmaker testing out a new channel trailer, 15 on-camera tips and tricks for filming yourself, creating a commercial, tips for filmmakers and clients, Canon EOS 5D Mark III camera settings for video, lens size and focal lengths with example, the film look plus history, how to become a film and video pro, is auto ISO a no-no with tips, how to sync audio tracks quickly, I need to make that video again. I still have complaints from people that they don't want to record their audio into a separate recorder because then they have to go to their camera and they have to sync up the audio. It's so stupidly simple. It takes me like 10 seconds to sync up my audio. Maybe I'll make another one of those. Basics of light and lenses, Canova table slider dolly, bloopers, outtakes, and just having fun. I need to make another bloopers video. That video was five years ago, six years ago. I love making these videos. It's just, it's a real pain to go through all my old videos and find all the outtakes, which I usually have on every video and collect them all. It's just fun. I mean, if you're not having fun doing this stuff, then you shouldn't be doing this stuff. And I really have a lot of fun doing this stuff. And when I mess up, it makes me laugh. A zero dollar do-it-yourself camera stabilizer trick, the basics of getting room tone, Zoom H1 getting correct sound levels and other tips and tricks, the story of continuity, using warp stabilizer to fix footage fails, focus series part one, part two, part three, and part four, intended audience and viewpoint skills, a lapel mic showdown, a mini music video plus crap sound, fix mouth noises with this simple trick, protect your gear traveling, DIY your own jib crane for about $40, that video, I think, was made seven years ago from, there used to be someone called Olivia Tech, and they showed this crane. So I showed people how to DIY this little mini jib crane. I mean, for 40 or $50, I think nowadays, you can just probably buy one for that. They've come so far down. But at the time, to get a mini jib, it was like five or $600. And this thing cost you about $40 and a hacksaw and some drills and screws and stuff. Very popular video. Setting white balance for videos with examples. A silly campy homage to space marines and honey badgers. I mean, that shouldn't even exist on my channel. It was just, I had some friends and some people who were really into the space marine universe and this old honey badger video. So I put together this video for them. Canova K slider test shots and then an intro bumper in After Effects. Wow, you actually made it all the way through to the end of the video. Kudos to you, and I'm gonna give you a bunch of hearts and stuff. And don't forget, over at Basic Filmmaker University, I have free assets, free sound effects, 
free courses, and I always run massive discounts on all the courses and stuff over there. If you don't want to take a course, go get some free stuff and have at it. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. If you made it all the way here, you know that last video with the bumper, the original first video I did? I went and grabbed an After Effects template and made my first bumper out of that. Well, later on down the road, I don't know if it was a 50 or 70 videos, some person commented on my channel that there was a porn company using this at the beginning of their videos. I didn't ask him how he knew that, but I definitely went out and made a new bumper trailer at the beginning of my videos, like right the hell then.